Welcome back. So when I started developing a long, long time ago, one of my biggest problems was to figure out what's the difference between a class and an object. Well, first of all, what is a class? Think of a class as a blueprint of what we can do. Like if the class was a car, maybe it had a color and it had um, some functions like it could move forward, it could break, it could move backward. We're going to try and build a car in the next lesson just to try and show you a very simple class. But a class is a blueprint, right? So it's like the drawing, it's the drawing of the car. Let me show you. It's, it would be like this, a model of how the car should look, right? It wouldn't be the actual car. So a class, think of that as a blueprint, a way for us to explain to the system, when you wanna create a car, this is how it should look. But it's just a blueprint, it's just an overview of what it should do when it creates it. And when would it create it? Well, when the program executes, you'll say create new car or something by pressing a button or whatever, and then it creates in memory an actual car object. So the class is the blueprint, the object is like the real car, right? As real as it gets in a virtual reality, a uh, virtual re environment, sorry. But the class is the blueprint. So what we're going to build now is we're going to build a small car class and then we're going to make it so we can create the car and do stuff with it. We're going to do that in the next lesson. So um, now you have an idea. There's a lot of information here on the class uh, under tutorials teacher, of course. So here they also use car actually. And if I scroll down, they've added a class here and I'll try and run over all of these fields for you uh, as we move forward. But um, they have a pretty good explanation about everything in here. So what we'll do next is we'll try and build a car and then we'll try and from that explain what a class actually is. See you in the next lesson.